All right, everybody, welcome back. Bearded Drums here, your personal drum nerd. For today, we're going to be doing another stick review, another product that was released in 2018. And today, we're going to be looking at the Vader Extended Play. So let's go ahead and get started with today's episode. So these are the Vader Extended Plays, and these were recently released at Winter Nam in California, and I have been waiting to get my hands on a pair of these sticks, especially that they have the new stick shield, which is incorporated to the mid part of the stick to help with guys that do a lot of rim shots and tend to tear up the middle of their sticks. And now I've been using these sticks for about three weeks, so I've got enough gigs under my belt using these that I've got a form depending on them. So before we get to my final thoughts on the Vader extended play let's go over some quick specs of these new sticks now when i picked up my set at the local guitar center i picked up the 5a's but the extended play series is going to include 5a 5b power 5a power 5b power 3a and for the marching sticks they're going to include the mv7 and mv8 now for a quick rundown of what the extended play by vader is if you don't know these sticks incorporate two features that make them extended play, and the first one being the stick shield. This is a little wrap that goes around the center of the stick, just about the area that most players would hit their rim shots. And if you are a heavy rim shot player, you know you get that divot or that little area right in the middle of the sticks where you tend to get fraying, chipping, and where your stick tears up the most. And this is what the stick shield is designed to help you with. It looks kind of like carbon fiber, and it's in the area of the rim shot to take the brunt force of all those strokes that come down on the rim so you don't dent up and tear up the middle of your stick. Now, another feature that makes these sticks extended play is the pearloid coating that goes from the top of the stick shield all the way to the tip, basically from halfway up the stick all the way to where the taper starts going into the tip and covering the tip itself. And this pearloid coating is designed to help with chipping and fraying of the wood at the top of the stick. This is where most of the damage on my sticks come from. So this is supposed to help with that so that you don't have to be running out and buying sticks every week or every other week. Now, as I mentioned, there are many models in the extended play line. I picked up the 5As, and the specs on the 5As are they have a length of 16 inches, and the diameter is going to be .570, and of course, it's going to include the stick shield and the pearloid coating that's going to go from halfway up the stick all the way to the tip. And the average price for the extended play is going to be $12.99. So if you're interested in purchasing, as always, I will put links below in the YouTube description so you can link straight from the video here to purchase. But now that we've got the specs out of the way, let's get to my final thoughts on these 5A extended play by Vader. First things first, when I pulled these sticks out of the sleeve at the very first gig I used them on, I was very pleased with the feel. And maybe it's because I've never actually played a pair of Vader 5As. I played many models, many signature models by Vader, but I just happened to have never played a pair of 5As, and the feel was great. Now, as for my thoughts on the two main features that make these extended play, number one being the stick shield. This seems like a very well thought out addition to the stick. So as I said before, if you are a player that does a lot of rim shots, I'm sure you're used to the middle of your stick starting to fray and chip. This will definitely help with this problem. Now, I personally do not hit a whole ton of rim shots, but the ones I did were definitely protected by the stick shield. The stick shield seemed to take the brunt force of these strikes very well, and this will definitely help with this problem for any player that does a lot of rim shotting. Also, because the stick shield is basically stuck on and wrapped around the stick, there's definitely no issue, at least with my testing so far, of the stick shield coming loose or starting to peel away. I've had no problems with this in all the gigs I've used up to this point. I'm actually out of town right now doing a five-day run at a casino, so I'll be testing these even further to see if there are any issues with the stick shield coming loose. But as I said, thus far, no problem. As for the pearloid coating that goes from the midpoint of the stick all the way to the tip, 
This is designed to help with chipping and fraying of the wood at the top of the stick. This is where most of the damage I incur comes. I don't do a lot of rim shotting. I play off the front of the stick a lot and I tend to saw on the hi-hat. So I have a lot of familiarity with damaging this part of the stick. Now I'm going to throw up some sample footage here. This is what the stick looked like after just two weeks of playing. And this was about six gigs. And as I said, I tend to saw on the hi-hat and I really damage the top of the sticks. And I'm going to put it to you. You tell me if from this sample footage, it looks like this perloid coating is doing its job. Me personally, I think that the top of the stick is holding up just about as good as any other stick that doesn't have a coating. If you disagree, please feel free to leave me a comment below or if you've had any experience with using the extended play and you've had better results with the perloid coated part of the stick than I did, comment and we can kind of get a conversation going about this feature of the stick. So in my opinion, really great results from the feel of the stick in general. Vader makes a great feeling 5A. I always talk about throw a lot, and these sticks have great throw. They felt like they were balanced really well. As far as the stick shield, once again, really great results, especially if you're a heavy rim shotter. I think you're going to find this very helpful. Now, as far as the perloid coating that's supposed to help with the chipping at the top of the stick, eh, I don't know if it's really doing that great of a job or in any better job than any other stick may be doing. But all in all, I think this is a great stick. The stick shield is a great idea. It's a great feeling stick. I've really had no problems with tearing up the tips. So if you are looking for a stick to help extend the life so you don't have to be running out buying sticks every week, every other week, Definitely take a look at the extended play. I'll have links below. You can go straight to Vader's website. You can look at the extended play series, all the different sizes they offered. And Vader is actually offering the stick shield on its own. So you can purchase these and put them on your stick if you use a Vic Firth or a Promark. I don't know how this is going to work out because the sizing and the diameters may be a little different. So I'm going to look at purchasing the stick shield by itself later on just so we can put it on a different brand of stick and see how it holds up. So that is the Extended Play 5A by Vader. And remember, if you want to stay up to date on the latest drum gear, pick up tips and tricks, and look at products like we did today, consider subscribing to the channel, and remember to hit that bell notification so you know instantly when Bearded Drums comes out with new content. Hope you enjoyed today's review, and as always, hope everyone has a great week, and I'll see you on the next one.